Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use radio signals on the microbits. This feature can be used to send and receive messages. The first thing I'm going to do is name my project. I'm going to call it Radio Signals. And then I'm going to delete this block here. I'm going to be keeping this one as we're going to need it. So what does this block do? Like it says on start, at the beginning of our program, when we run it, whatever code is inside of here will run. The code we're going to be putting inside of here, we will find in the radio category. We need this block here, radio set group and one. What this does is it sets the radio ID. Microbits that have the same radio ID can communicate with each other. If two microbits have two different radio IDs, so one microbit has the radio ID 1 and another microbit has the radio ID 2, they cannot communicate with each other because their radio IDs are different. For our example, we're going to be using the ID of 1 and I'm going to drop it inside of this block here. Next, I'm going to create an input that's going to send something. So I need to go to the input category. I'm going to use this block here. So when we press button A, it's going to send something. For the code to send something, we need to go to the radio category. And our first example, we're going to send a number. We're going to drop it inside of the on button A pressed block. So what this means is when I press button A, it's going to send the number, and we're going to use five, for our example, over the radio. Now that we've sent the number, we need code that's going to receive it. So if we go back to the radio category, I'm going to use this block here, on radio received, receive number. So when it, when it receives a number over the radio, it's going to do something. We want it to show the number we're sending. So if I go to the basic category, I'm going to use this block here, show number, and I'm going to drop it inside. What this means is it's going to show number zero when it receives a number, but we want it to show the number we're sending. So this bit here, when I hover over it, it, it highlights. If I click and drag, receive number will duplicate. And if I move it onto show number, I can insert it when it highlights. So now, when I press button A, it's going to send the number five over the radio, and when the other microbit receives the number, it's going to show the number that it's received. So if I test this now, when I press A on this microbit, a second microbit will appear. So if I test A, if I press it on this microbit, it will receive it on this one. And if I press it on this one, it will receive it on this one. So it received five. If I press A on this one, this microbit, this microbit sent it, and this one received it. But we don't have to just use numbers, we can send words as well. So if I delete this block here, and this one, if I go back to the radio group category, I'm going to be using radio send string. So we can write a message. We'll put hello there. Like before, we need some code that's going to receive it. So if I go to the radio category, I need to scroll down, and instead of this one, where we received a number, we're going to be using this one, where it receives a string. And just like before, we'll go to the basic category, and we need the block here. So instead of show number, we're going to show a string, because we're sending a string. If I put this inside, and exactly like before, I click and drag and duplicate, I can insert this into here. So when I press A, it's going to send the string hello there over the radio. When it receives the string, it's going to show the string and whatever it has received. So I just click A on here so we can get a second microbit. When I press A, this microbit is going to send it and this one's going to receive it and vice versa. If I press A, it's received the message hello there on this microbit. If I press A on this one, this microbit has received the message.